Um, have you ever compared the efficiency between a magnetic bearing system and the ceramic bearing system? And I think there was, this was also a... Yeah, ceramic, sorry, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, and I think you also mentioned a bit about the two different technologies in the beginning. Yeah, uh, you know, um, I would have to talk to our bearing guys whether or not they've looked at the, the losses associated with the ceramic bearing system. But I know, I know that uh, in general, a ceramic bearing system is going to have about the sell same performance as a roller element bearing system. Right, uh, because all you're doing with the ceramic bearing base system is replacing the the steel balls with ceramics, polishing up the raceway so that you can operate oil free. Because that's the purpose of using ceramics is to enable, or one of the main purposes, uh, along with variable speed drive pitting uh, potentially that comes with traditional steel bearings. But if you're going to replace them with ceramics, it's generally to go oil free. And if you do that. Um, you're, you're generally starting with steel balls. And I know that a magnetic bearing base system is in uh, just in terms of losses associated with that bearing system is more efficient than the traditional steel. So I believe that corresponds also with the ceramic. Oh. But if you look at from a product standpoint, you know, what, what, it, what uh, becomes most important is the comparison from the product standpoint. And the ceramic bearing uh, oil-free solutions are very efficient. Uh, and uh, but the the ceramic bearing-based oil-free system also adds a lot of complication to that system because you have to lubricate that ceramic bearing-based system with liquid refrigerant as well. Yeah. And I believe that was also why one of the reasons for why we. The um, original inventor, inventor of tubercores didn't go with with the ceramic bearing system, right? You remember the story well. Yeah, that's <laughs> that is part of the story. It was part of his evaluation at the time. Yeah, yeah he had the choice of uh, magnetic, ceramic, and now what's evolving is, of course, gas, and that'll come about in the future as this technology pushes down into smaller capacities, but. You, um, at the time, that was the choice, was really to go oil-free, either ceramic or magnetic. If you start out with steel ball and steel race, it's much easier to go ceramic. But he was starting with a clean sheet, and uh, he determined at the time, and we still believe now, that the magnetic bearing is the best choice. 